Hello everyone! Well, first of all, sorry for my voice. <laughs> it's kind of coming and going. I have this bug and my voice is so deep. Oh my, it's just weird. But I have to finish these two, I have two videos for today and I have to finish them because I'm going on vacation. So I'm gonna have to <laughs> put up with my voice, okay? <laughs> so anyway, today we're going to make some cards. I'm going to show you four cards and one of them we're going to make together, okay? Basically, these two are similar. This one is kind of all over the place. As you can see, there is this beautiful basket here and these two bunnies coming out of it. I put some greenery on the back and you know how I love my picket fences. I, I think I just used too many colors and it's kind of confusing but I love it. <laughs> and then inside I use some more grass and, and put a bunny. So for these two cards, I'm going to show you first the cards and then the dies that I used. So mainly the same die here. Now the guy is holding a, uh, a carrot. The other one is the little one that's holding, but the die comes with two little bunnies one to the left and one to the right so i created a scenery and i the reason why i love this one is the shape so i'm going to show you how to create something in this shape okay so you basically open and i have of course a white paper inside so that you can write your messages and happy easter and a little bit of decoration here because i think it makes a difference let me show you the dies that i used for this okay and I'm going to show you how to how to get this shape done because this is not the one that we're going to put together so basically the die is this one guys so it comes with this beautiful basket some greeneries and this is these are the whiskers that I never use the little ones and you have these two bunnies I love this die and you have been seeing this especially this bunny on my series I've been using them a lot let me just show you what they look like so here just so you see some ideas with the basket that it's very intricate I love this basket you can you can just use them like this or you can make maybe make a box and put one on each side like this but I love I love this uh, basket here and the bunnies let me show you what I love about these bunnies is that they have this arm that you can just put anything inside I absolutely love it I've been using it with eggs you've seen me put eggs here carrots and you can even make fun of it and maybe it's holding another care another bunny look at that so you can actually just put whatever you want or which is another idea just put them like this and they'll be behind the basket so it's just you know use your imagination but it's a very versatile die die set that i love and i've been using in all my projects Look at how cute they are. This is the big one. I have a few. And this is the little one. So, yeah. So I have the link below to these dies because you can use them in so many different ways. So that's the basic die here. And then this is the shape die. I'm sure you have something like this. So just use whatever you want, you have at home. And I'll have the link for something. If I, if, I, if I can't find this specific one that has so many options, I think it has like 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it has 11. Uh, these are like nesting dies, but I'll find something similar. But what I wanted to show you is how to make something like this. So you basically get a piece of paper. You fold it. This is actually a card, but just to show you how to do it. What you do is you make sure that this is this is what cuts the paper, right? So you make sure that this stays outside the card when you run it through your machine like this. That's what you're going to do. So basically the cutting part is going to stop right here and then you just put it through your die cutting machine and when it comes out you're going to have a shape like this okay you can use this technique with any shape of dies so now that I showed you the dies maybe you see better see um, I use the 
the basket here, added some flowers, flowers on the bunny, and here it is, holding the carrot. Yeah, so I just think that I used too much, too many colors, too many different papers, that it kind of, it's kind of confusing. This one is more clear, and I, you know, of course, as you know, I love my sceneries. So that's one of the cards, but the one that we're going to make together today is this one here. Or something like the, we're going to actually make the twin of this card. It's a shaker card, and I use different dyes. I'm going to use this jug here. I have tons of little eggs here, and that's why this bunny is jumping into the jug. So I have some uh, stamping here, and I use another another die here for the outside for the shape. Um, what do you call this? Just a rectangle, rectangular uh, shape die. And then again, inside, I like to decorate the inside. So I have a happy Easter with a little bunny and the same paper. So that's the one we're making. It's a shaker card, okay? So let me show you how to put this together. And here we are. We already have everything organized here because I don't want this video to be so long. Let me first share the dies that I used for this one. This is the jug. So it's, uh, again, uh, um, it allows you to make a shaker like this because it has the outside that allows you to make the shaker. And this is like the inside part. So you can, I love this die because it's three sizes, different sizes, and of course it comes with the lids. So that's for this here. For this bunny, I have these dies here and I'll have everything below. If I don't find it, it's because it's sold out or something, but I'm sure you'll find it. And it's from Amazon, so you have time to order and get it fast, okay? So that's from this set here that comes with three, five uh, bunnies. And that's the one that we're going to use today. That's the jumping one. <laughs> and this one that I absolutely love because it cuts at once nine eggs and some of them have stitching some of them have embossing so each one is different here so i love it because it adds more interest to the eggs so these are the dies we're using today first let's work on the jug okay because that's the time consuming part and on this one i'm going to add a carrot inside so let me move zoom in for you so this is easier for you to see i'm gonna put this aside so that's the jug and that's the out see what i showed you so this this here cuts this part which allows you to make the shaker and this cut, cuts the inside part so the back of the shaker okay just so you understand it's very nice. So what I did basically here, just so you know, for time's sake, I cut like five or six of these just to make, because you, as you know, shakers, they have to be tall so that you can shake. Uh, you can e either do this or you can use double-sided foam adhesive, but because this is thin, I would rather just cut a whole bunch of these and just glue them. That's what I did. And then this is the cover. These are just two layers with acetate in between, okay? So that's how you do it. You just use acetate and you cut it with your dies. Three layers, one for the outside, acetate, and, and then another one for below, okay? And then what you do at the end is we're going to glue these two together, okay? So we're going to do that now. And then we're going to prepare the inside and we'll be done with the shaker. So basically, let me get some glue here. Get this going. And because this is really thin, I like to use this uh, precision because you do need it and it's kind of clogged. Let me see if I can unclog it with this. Should be okay now. I have so much glue already on my hands. Always have glue. I'm gonna have to unclog this. I'll be back. I'm back and this is what I use to unclog <laughs> one of these pins. So that's what I'm gonna do. There you go. 
So let's get this going. That's what happens. It happens sometimes. So that's why I like the precision here because you don't want the glue to smear and go to places they're not supposed to go. So here we're going to align it, make sure that it's well positioned and then press it down, move it up, press it down, see how thick it is. I have like six or seven layers. It depends on how, how thick your paper is. But I wanted to show you the, the outside with the acetate so you know how to do it, okay? I'm sure you, all, you guys all know how to make shakers because I have so many videos in my channel. Okay, so now we're going to prepare this. So I decided that I'm going to have not just the... I'm going to leave this for the end. So let's get some eggs here. I'm going to accelerate this part because you don't want me to see making so many... gluing so many things. Looks good. I think it has enough eggs for our little rabbit. So I think I'm going to add this now. The other one didn't have a carrot, but this one is going to have it. You can add whatever you want here. There you go. It'll give him more desire. So we have a little leftover here. Just outside so you just trim it a little excess which is okay so there you go so we have the inside already let me move this aside wow my voice I'm telling you so what we're going to do now and let me even zoom in even more because I want you to see, I'm going to use now, first of all, I'm going to make sure, I always make sure that I have a few of the shaker items everywhere. I always make sure I have a little bit, not floating, but make sure that you see something always, even if you don't, if you're not shaking it, you have some of these items staying still. Oh, these shakers are so tiny. But I always glue a few just to make sure that when you're not shaking, some of them will be showing. I'm going to put one here on. That's a lot of glue. It's too much for something this little. So there you go. I love these little stars. So always take some time to glue a few things because it's extra decoration and they stay in place. Okay, so now what we're going to do is get some of these shaking elements inside. So a little bit of this. I'm going to use this pearlescent. Oh, I like these ones because they're they kind of pick up the colors. I have a little hearts here too. I think I'm going to, to maybe, no, I think that's enough. I think that's enough shaking elements. I have some left over here. That's good. I think that's good. I'm just going to spread it a little bit because I'm going to have to get this out. Let me see. Yeah, that's fine. So now all you need to do is to glue the outside of the shaker ah that's no good that's okay let's do it again let me see if I have I think I got some of the glue out no it's good so make sure 
that it's all aligned and it is let me get this out <laughs> I have something coming out here because <laughs> I have to I think it's the glue and then just press it down I have to wait a little bit um, you know when you're doing videos you don't want to wait because I don't want you guys to wait but you have to sometimes there you are our shaker part is done I'm gonna get all of this out of the way so all we need to do now is just to put it together so I have these two elements here that I'm going to glue let me glue the shaker first so I'm gonna use this just for time's sake this is the best dry glue ever it's so easy to apply and doesn't get stuck like most do so here we are oh I'm going to oh it, the zooming is not working so there I'm going to place this here I'm going to glue a little banner just here on the top and this has a little bit of double-sided foam adhesive and I'm going to just add hoppy bunny which is this bunny here and now let's just see the position that's enough glue so I'm going to, yeah, <laughs> I just love this design. I love the fact that the bunny is jumping and very hopefully getting into the jar. So I'm just going to press it from behind to make sure that it's glued. And now the last element, guys, our little bunny, hopeful bunny. Now, there you go. And our card is ready, and this one is the same idea, but this one has um, the carrot inside. I think it adds a lot. So, what do you think? You like it? I hope you get to make some. I love shaker cards. They are the most beautiful things, and they're fun to make. Did I do anything? I didn't do anything to the inside yet, but I will. I will decorate it the same way that I did with this one, okay? So four cards it's basically sceneries with these beautiful dies that i showed you and i'll have the link to everything i find below okay i hope you enjoyed this video and i gave you some ideas for your easter cards thank you so much and i'll see you next